Over the past 20 years, the De Beers Group of Companies has been turning diamond dreams into reality with the Shining Light Awards. Through the awards, De Beers has impacted the lives of young jewellery designers from Namibia as well as South Africa and Botswana. I got an exclusive sneak peek into the judging recently in Swakopmund. Check this out. Um, I relate to the competition, I think, in uh, different ways. I, I am, wouldn't say a father to it, but I, I participate in creating the brief, uh, and I'm quite excited to, to be part of the process. I, I, I run the Innovation Center out of Milan, Italy, uh, so we work with design every day at a global level, and I get the, uh, the ability to see exactly what drives different markets, different tastes, and I, and I look at the commerciality of things, so I have a pretty good sense of where things can and should be going. My name is Banyana Munsu. Um, I think people know me as Banyana Mpete because um, I only just recently changed my surname. Um, I won the Shining Lights Award for 2013-2014. I was the overall winner um, from um, the Botswana side of the competition. And yeah, that's basically how I got into this whole thing. The theme this year about nature is um, protecting nature. We have this problem of rhino poaching, uh, elephant tusk poaching. So uh, the young designers actually have to bring over this uh, very important theme in Southern Africa, or in Africa generally, that uh, protected species are under siege by money by dark money, and that's uh, what they want to hold against. Their designs, their ideas, um, garnished with gold, and as a centerpiece, the diamond. Platforms like this are very important, especially when it comes to the youth, in a sense that we are trying to keep the youths away from alcohol and drug abuse. Um, today's youths tend to be smoking hubbly and doing um, unproductive stuff. So in, in a, a platform like this is we're trying to inspire them so that they can be creative. There's a lot of youths around uh, the suburbs that are very talented, but they do not have the initiative to show their talent. Hence, the shining light, the beers competition brings out, because you don't need to go to school. You don't need to go to a fashion design school. Some people are born with the talent. So an initiative like this is to encourage those that have the talent coming from a, a disadvantaged background to come and show their talent and, 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 and uplift it and take it to another level. Because through this, they can become successful entrepreneurs. And obviously, Southern Africa, we blessed with natural resources, particularly the diamond. And through this, their knowledge can grasp and they can become millionaires. We don't know, you understand? So it's a very, very good initiative. I'm looking for something creative. Um, we are long past the stage where an elephant would sell. We need, as South Africans or Africans, we need to start selling commercial stuff. So I'm more, more, um, more looking at commercial and a little bit of the inspiration in, in, in marrying the, 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 the commercial side and the theme. So I'm very, very tough when it comes to commercial because what's the use of creating something beautiful that cannot sell, you know? So commercial for me is the number one thing. I'm looking for something commercial, something that can, you could put on the floor and can, can sell it at the same time. So the winners, there will be a winner from Namibia, there will be a winner from Botswana, and a winner from South Africa. Um, and then of course we'll have two runner-ups. So the design pieces will be of, from the winners. Um, there's nothing more exciting than seeing, you know, you've worked to enter the competition, it's submitted, and you win. But when you see for the first time your piece, because they don't actually get to see their pieces until the night of the event, it is wonderful to watch that individual to say, I actually designed that. 